Hi, I'm Frank Rohr, President and Chief Scientist for Delta Waterfowl, and with me are Dr. Michelle Goodman and Dr. Glenn Olson. We're here on as collaborators on a ringneck project. We had a good night. We caught a bunch of ringnecks by night lighting, and then we took them to the surgery center, and these guys did the surgery. The surgery was to implant a satellite transmitter. So let me let Glenn or Michelle talk about the implant process. Sure, Frank. So when we're doing the surgery, we just make an incision into the bird's abdomen and we place the transmitter on the right side of the body so that it doesn't interfere with uh, breeding uh, opportunities. And this little antenna sticks out and that uh, allows the signal to go up to a satellite so that they can get a precise fix on the bird's location. So what we're doing is we're trying to track here in, in the southern part of the Atlantic Flyway movements and habitat use in the winter. In a sense, the more exciting part is we have no idea where these ducks go during the breeding season. And with the satellite transmitter, we can get long distance movements. So we'll be able to track them whether they go to Maine or Ontario or to the Northwest Territories. Now, let's go backward a minute and talk about an implant radio. This sounds brutal, but Dr. Olson actually more or less pioneered this work. You've done... Hundreds of these, yes, <laughs> yeah, maybe thousand. And yeah. it sounds crazy to cut a duck open and put a radio inside, but it actually has far less impact on the duck in, in yeah. the long term. These, these are diving ducks and they don't tolerate uh, transmitters that are attached to their outside. They'll just sit there and try and groom them off. And we've, had, we've tried this several times and sometimes the ducks eventually just die because they just won't feed, they won't do anything. Um, so it's better to put the transmitters inside. They, they migrate, they move around fine with them. And the transmitters are actually smaller than the egg that this female would be carrying once she gets toward nesting uh, season. So these internal transmitters are the only thing that works for diving ducks. But we've also found even in mallards that the best thing to do is put an implant radio in. It sounds crazy, but you hang a backpack on a mallard and it's much less likely to re-nest. So, so these implants sure. are really the, the way to go with ducks and mm. uh, that are big enough birds to handle um, a small transmitter. So stay tuned. We hope to be able to show you fairly soon where, where these ducks are going.